guys, Three Plus Plus here. Today I'm back with my sixth video on input. C in versus C out. These are the two methods for data um, input and output. Well, the two most common methods anyway. As you already know, well, you should already know what C out does. Um, so basically, C out is um, console out which will output some text to the console window however there's one that you haven't covered yet and that one is C in and that is what we're going to be doing oh my goodness how terrible am I at drawing um, but basically that is what we're going to be doing in this video C in and another function called get line which is very useful so C in what is C in um, it uses the extraction operator, um, which it looks very like the operator we use for C out, um, but C in uses the insertion operator. So if you wanted to write C out something, um, I would go C out, and then I put these two symbols, let's say X. Yeah, so. C out x. But if I want to do um, input something and then assign that to the variable x, then I'd write C in, and then the other way. So this is the extraction operator, which is two greater than signs x. So like that. Um, so that is C in, um, and basically there is another function. Um, which is called get line. So we've got C in X, and then you've got get line C, C in and X. And basically, the uh, C in will, if you have like a space or enter or something, that will interpret to C in that that is basically the end of what you want. So if I wanted to input the words hello world, it would, if I just did C in and then I typed in on the console hello world, it would actually just come up as hello because the space in between the words hello and world tells sin cn um oh hang on you put a space there let's stop get line will not so let's begin programming um so in main.cpp we're going to uh basically start up a basic project which is what did I really type that? <laughs> anyway, include iostream. Yeah, basically, we're just going to start up a random project, which is just sort of the the normal stuff. Um, and okay, so int main. So let's ask the user for a name. Let's say. So let me see out. Um, what's your name? Question mark. And then. I can write uh, actually I'm just gonna return zero at the end of this it's not actually necessary but I like it because it's just useful um, um, so up here we're going to write C in and then the other way X um, well, let's let's do let's call it name but then above this we're going to have to write string name um, and that will initialize the variable because we haven't put equals anything so it makes the string called name but it doesn't tell it what it is um, so C in name and then I'll write underneath C out name is actually I'll just write he hello hello and then the name um, and then an exclamation mark because we like exclamation marks and then a line ending thingy so if we build and run this um, you will see that because we haven't put any end line thingies um, or any spaces really it's not going to be that good um, so if we go in here it says what's your name and then we just type it straight in here so my name is 3++ so I'll write 3 plus plus in here and then press enter and now it says hello 3 plus plus which is awesome however um, 
it doesn't have a space in there or anything so i can say like if i put name and then put like a space there um and then i rerun this then it would be much much better um so it says name and then you have like a space um and then i can click enter and then it says hello three plus plus and that's awesome so then uh now we will see why we don't use C in for everything. Um, actually, let's do something else. C, uh, C out, hello, name, end L. Uh, on the next line, C out, enter your age. Age. Um, and then C in, uh, age. And then we need to make int age. <laughs> So, what this is going to do is it should output, it should get your age as well. Um, so, basically, uh, underneath here, we will write C out your details. Backslash N basically means new line, so that will make a new line, a bit like end L. But it's pretty much the same exact thing. So how many letters? Y O U R space D E T A I L S. Yes, new line, new line. Um, yeah. Name. Um, yeah. So what I did with all those equals is signs is basically makes. So if I do like this, it would it will say on the screen your details and then that underneath it so it's a bit sort of like it's almost like an underline but we don't have underlines in C++ so we're doing it this way because it's amazing and then we have this and then name and then name and then end L end L by the way is the exact same as backslash N in a string so end L um, and then age age and L. And this should work. Um, yes. So basically, name three plus plus. Age. Um, I don't know. Uh, three because three plus plus. Your details. Name three plus plus. Age three. Brilliant. It works. However, there's a problem, right? If I do this and I type in name three plus plus learn programming which is more my word it's got a space in between and I click enter um, because I've got like the spaces and everything it skips random bits and you see it only takes this first chunk that hasn't got the space so it'll say name is three plus plus not three plus plus learn programming so um, and it also doesn't give you the age option either so what would be better for um, this is we would write get line because we're getting uh, basically we are because we are getting um, a line pretty much we are getting a line so we need to get line the line um, so if I do this again now what's your name 3 plus plus learn programming age uh, 3 your details name is 3 plus plus learn programming age is 3 however we don't want if if like people put in random things like for the age um if they put in like a random thing like let's say if i run this again if i put in okay that's my name now um, if i put in 3.14159265358979 etc because that's pi and i like pi um, it will round it, which is good. We want that, but it's an integer, um, so it will ask for your age as an integer. And if it isn't an integer, it will make it an integer by basically getting it to the closest value. If we wanted, we could go float age, and then if we rerun this, um, then we would basically get name is whatever that is, and then 3.14159. Two six five three number lock three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two etc. I really don't care. But basically, um, it doesn't do too much detail because it's a float. But um, yeah.
basically, yeah. If I change this to double, I think that gives more accuracy, and it's also um, a decimal number. So that's my name. 3.141592653589979. That's enough for now. Uh, no, it doesn't give any more detail. Um, but um, I think there's some things that you can use to make it more detailed. But I've never really needed to use a decimal that much before. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was pretty much all for today. Um, so, if you did like this tutorial um, on input methods, then please make sure to like and subscribe to this um, channel, which is absolutely amazing. And, yeah, just basically be amazing and just keep on programming stuff and come back to my channel to see some amazing more videos because they will be amazing. Yeah. Anyway, see you then. Bye.